Hi everybody, how are you doing? This is going to be like a really um, shitsy video as a joke to Jordan Byers. If anybody says the word shitsy video, I know it was mine. Kidding. All right, I want to talk about just a few little subjects um, and I'm going to try to do this as fast as possible because I am, um, I wasn't able to work the other day and the lady that works for me would like the day off today. So obviously I feel better. I'm going to go in and let her have her entitled day off. doesn't matter. So two subjects I want to um, start with was Raw Beauty Christie. I did see the tweets of um, what had happened when she made her video about where have I been and the scariest day of her life. And she was talking about her niece and what had happened with her and some. It was a kid. I'm sorry. When I seen the tweet and then I followed it, you know, I went to the It's a kid. You know, a very young person that, you know, I said she was exploiting her niece's medical condition for money because she monetized the video. Oh my God. I mean, do we have to come to silliness like this? I mean, I talk about my mom here. Am I exploiting my mother for money? Absolutely not. Does she know I talk to her on YouTube, about, about her on YouTube? Yes, she does. Okay. If I ever made a penny talking on any of my videos, whether it be about my mother or beauty products, I would give it to my mother, whether she was in the video that I talked about or not. I would just give it to her because that's something that she needs and I would give it to her. But Raw Beauty Chrissy did go to full lengths that she did talk to her um, you know, niece and her sister and they knew about it. I don't think we need to get this far into silliness, but apparently we did. You know? And then I want to talk slightly a little bit about Jordan Byers. Okay. Now I seen a video that Dustin Daly had made um, about Jordan Byers, and I've seen a lot of videos that uh, about Jordan Byers and a lot of tweets and stuff like that. So anyway, this is just moisturizer. Anyway, um, Jordan Byers is very young, okay? She is, she's 19. She's been doing this probably since she was like a young and 17, whatever. I don't know how long she's been doing it, but she's very young. And I don't mean to sound offensive to anybody, but... Um, she, I think she had well-off parents or whatever. She doesn't live with her parents. She's very well-to-do or whatever. And, and I don't mean to come off as offensive, but when you have somebody that has had a life where they have not really had to do anything to earn their money, you know, not do anything. I don't mean that. Like, they haven't had to put in any hard, real bull work, you know, and their eyes have not been extremely open to the real world and in real life issues and real problems they seem to have this sense of entitlement you know and so I did put a comment on Dustin Daly's video which sparked a little bit of stuff which I was okay with I said you know that's the problem I said well first of all she's very young okay and um, she doesn't understand real adult issues and problems and things like that and, you know, I said, maybe once she grows up or does something more realistic in the real world, and I'm not saying YouTube isn't realistic, but I'm saying, you know, seriously. Um, anyway, then maybe she would understand a little bit more or not be so, um, you know, the way she is. So somebody commented on there, because I did say this generation has this huge sense of entitlement. And in my opinion, that's my opinion. Okay, I have three kids that are in their 20s, and I have two kids that are in their teens. And let me tell you, since the evolution of cell phones and social media, it's not a picnic anymore. Okay, kids are way different. You have to change up and amp up your parenting skills. I have to parent my younger you know, children way different than I parented my older ones because my older ones, like, I think... Uh, their first cell phones were like cricket and stuff, and mostly it was text messaging, and back then it was MySpace. There wasn't all this crap, you know, until they got older and their minds were a little bit more developed. And now, unfortunately, um, I'm doing this so quick, I apologize. Um, now, unfortunately, kids, you can be parent of the year. You can totally do everything you can to do, to do everything you can for your kids, and then the second society gets a hold of them, you're screwed. You're just screwed once they get on that internet or they go to that friend or whatever and they get into more society. You're screwed. You are. You are totally screwed, okay? So I personally think Jordan Byers has a lot of growing up to do. But anyway, that what I want to talk about is the comment that was on there. And then I respect it. I do. I'm not going to be mad about it. This person said, you know, sense of entitlement. And it was obviously a person. She says, you know, young people have to face more violence than any other generation. I get that. 
but the violence that they're facing is usually by violent kids, you know, teens going in and shooting up schools. Somewhere, I think, society and the world is, not the world, because I don't know about different countries, but in this country, we have dropped the ball on our kids. And I was ever so proud that they went and they marched you know, on um, in Washington to have a voice. I was very proud of that, you know, for our teens. That is just amazing. What a great step in the right direction. And that's what we need, you know. That's totally what we need them to do. And I was so proud to see that. But unfortunately, and I'm not blaming the kids. I'm blaming society itself. Um, and I want to put this as a real thing. And not, I am not condoning, you know, beating children. Oh, my God, no. But what I'm saying is, is you, if you so much take your child to the grocery store, I'm not even doing concealer because I don't even want to worry about it. If you so much as take your kid to the grocery store and yell at them, you know, some people get annoyed that the kid is crying, okay? And others, or like maybe it's your five-year-old throwing a temper tantrum or six-year-old throwing a temper tantrum or someone doing something wrong, hi, honey. And you, you know, if you don't yell at your kid, you get them parents that look at you like, oh my God. And if you do yell at your kid, how many of those people know that you're going to get that parent that CPS is going to be knocking on your damn door the next morning? Oh, my God, I heard you were yelling at your son in the store yesterday. And they're going to ask your son to slam me, yell at you often. Girl, there's, our, damn if you do, damn if you don't. If you try to, you know, discipline your kids in a very appropriate manner, I don't think you need to beat your children to get them to listen to you at all. So don't get me twisted on that. I don't condone that kind of stuff at all. But... The thing is, is, if you're yelling at your kids, you get either a, a family member that's going to interfere and say, don't do that. Or you get, you know, it's just, damn if you do and damn if you don't. So I think that's why I think in a way society has dropped the ball on the kids. Because this generation of, you know, it's like the kids, they want to have the latest shoes. They have to have the latest clothes. They have to have that iPhone, that cell phone or whatever. Even schooling has changed. Teachers are struggling to teach children because they're so distracted by their cell phones. They're so rude. They're so inconsiderate. They don't care. They don't. They don't care. They'll, they tr teachers face violence by their students every day in America. They face violence. You know how many people just don't want to be teachers anymore because that's what they're facing. So I'm sorry. That is my little vent on things like that. And I didn't mean, you know, I didn't want to go back on that page and be like, well, <laughs> you know, you hate to crack, you know, be like your mother. Well, when I was young, but it's true. When I was young, this stuff did not happen. So Jordan Byers needs life experience. That's what she needs, real world experience. And then maybe she will understand some things. That is my opinion. Third thing is I did make the video about Tati and the vitamins and whatever, and I seen a lot of the comments. <laughs> I like the one where they said, Karina, kaboom, my bitch. No, girl, okay, but whatever you do, boo-boo, you like who you like, and that's okay. Um, and somebody said that Anne Fernelli did take her channel down. She didn't take the channel down. She did delete some of the videos, but she came back with a video that said, I will not be bullied. Apparently, and this has nothing to do with Tati. It's not Tati's fault. I don't believe at all Tati would condone anybody treating this woman this way. But they came after her. They were emailing her. They were sending her DMs. They were threatening her. They were threatening her family. So that's kind of what happened. That's not Tati's fault at all. You know, it's just people get like all, again, different generation of cookies, people. So that's just what I wanted to say a little bit today. I hope you guys have a lovely day, and I just don't know why I wanted to come out here and vent some things and talk about some issues, but that's how it is. But I do say 100%, I'm so proud of our teenagers for going and marching, uh, you know, and going and protesting in um, Washington. That's amazing to make a change. So God bless. Okay, guys, I never do like to forget the finished look. This is the um, uh, Athena. Palette, Athena, yeah, the Huda Beauty Do for which I'm hot. I think it looks pretty. I was able to whip this up in like nine minutes. I can do that. <laughs> Love y'all, kids.